Hello everyone, we are from group 2 and now we want to present about Ratus Norvegicus, but before we starting our presentation, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Habibah Hilya Resti. My name is Siti Makarotu Nikma. And my name is Maria Pujulestari. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for the first material, we can discuss about taxonomy of Ratus Norvegius. Next. Taxonomy of Ratus Norvegicus. King Animalia, Film Chordata, Subfilm Vertebrata, Class Mammalia, Ordo Regencia, Family Muridae, Genus Ratus, and Species Ratus Norvegicus. Next. This is the Ratus Norvegicus. Ratus Norvegicus is rather large member of the mouse family. On average, this rat reach nearly 400 mm nose to tail, and the weight is 140 until 500 gram. Males are usually larger than females. Next. The second material is characteristic of Ratus norvegicus. Next. This is the morphological characteristic. The weight of Ratus norvegicus is heavy and rather large at approximately 140 until 500 grams. The head and the body is blue and white nose, approximately 18 until 25 centimeter large body and 31. 31 until 48 centimeter total length. The tail is shorter than the head post body, darker upper part and lighter underside with short, stiff hair shorter than head post body, and are older upper and lighter underside with short stiff hair. The ear is relatively small, half covered with hair and rarely more than 20 until 23 millimeters. The hair is the black, brownish gray, gray is on the abdomen, and then the eye is relatively small too. Next, this is the habitat and the habit. Uh, Rectus norvegicus is happy in the place with the with lots of food or leftover, living in the house, warehouse, outside house, cellar, ditches, and underground channels, and then going out at night. Can climb vertical ropes or climb horizontal wires, jump from the height of 15 meters without injury, and then the farthest, di farthest distance between the hole or red nest and the target location is about 7.5 until 10 meters. Digging holes, swimming and diving, beating hard objects such as wood, aluminum, and etc. Next. The third material is bio, biomolecular. Next. The biomolecular or biology molecular is studies the function and organization of living bodies or organi organism. The organization of this living organism is examined from the structure and also the molecular regulation of the constituent elements. Biology molecular is also a study of life of organism at the molecule, molecular scale. Biology molecular is also known as a science that deals with the world of biomolecules such as RNA, DNA, protein, and molecular synthesis. Next. This is a technique of molecular biology. The first one is expression, expression cloning, which, which is used for example to study protein function, 
In this technique, the desired protein coding to NFPs is transplanted into plasmid. The second one is polymerase chain reaction or PCR is very useful technique in making DNA copies. PCR allows a small number of specific DNA sequence to be copied in million of time to be reduced so that they can be analyzed or specifically modified. The third one is gentle electrophoresis. This is the basic principle of this technique is that DNA, RNA, or protein can be separated by an electric field. And then the last one is DNA isolation carried out with the aim of separating DNA from other materials such as protein, fat, or and carbohydrates. There are three main principles in DNA isolation, namely destruction or lysis, extraction or separation of DNA from solid materials such as cellulose, and protein and DNA purifications. Next. Uh, the next materials is about biomolecular of Kratos nutrigicus. We have four uh, methods of biomolecular of Kratos nutrigicus. The first one is biomolecular of Leishmania infantum, and then mucus of bully bully due to inductions of calcium oxal stone, and then the DNA isolation on Ratus novergicus, and then the last one is lysis process in Ratus novergicus. The first one, I would like to explain about Leishmania infantum. This is the taxonomy of Leishmania infantum. Scientific name is Leishmania infantum. Higher classification Leishmania, Ordo trypanosomatid. Taxon grade species, Pilum euclenozoa. Leishmania infantum are the species responsible for visceral leishmaniasis and leishmaniasis respectively. Wild canids and domestic dogs are the natural reservoir of this organism. The dog is considered the main reservoir of Leishmania infantum. Some members of the genus Ratus nothergicus can be experimentally infected with the parasite. This is the step of biomolecular of Ratus nafergicus with Leishmania infantum. The rodents were given general anesthesis using a combination of silazine and ketamine intramuscularly. And then, under aseptic conditions, the spleen was removed and the animal was then killed. And then, a small part of the excess spleen was placed in sterile ependorf tubes and stored at 4 degrees Celsius until DNA isolation. And then, DNA was isolated from approximately 10 mg of spleen tissue by PCR using the DNA mini kit. To reduce the risk of false positivity, the PCR assay was repeated three times, giving identical result. Accordingly, it could be suggested that uh, Ratus novergicus is probably resistant to natural infections with Leishmania infantum. Confirming that this rodent species or Ratus nafergicus is not susceptible to infections with the above viscerotropic strain of Leishmania as parasite could be detected by culture. And then the second one is mucus of bully bully due to inductions of calcium oxal stone. This is the picture of mucus bully bully. In theory, tumor immunology malignancy in the bladder mucus cells due to bladder stones occurs due to mechanical irritations of the stone mass or by irritation of the stone substance. And then this is the picture of calcium oxalate stone. Oxalate is a type of organic acid found in every plant, animal, and human. The human body also has a tendency to convert several other chemicals such as vitamin C to into oxalate. This is the treatment of Ratus novergicus animals with the process only control group design aims to explain the mechanism of change in the bladder mucosa due to the inductions of intravesical calcium oxalate stone for four weeks. The first, 30 Ratus novergicus were divided into three treatment groups, namely the control group, the vesicostomy group, and the calcium oxalate stone group. After four weeks or after doing a treatment, each group was examined for IVN serum levels, the number of IVN expressing cells, mutant P53, mutant PRB, mutant PRE, 
IS mutant PBCL2 using immunohistochemical technique. The change in the bladder mucosa due to inductions of calcium oxalate stone for four weeks will the first one increase expressions of mutant PRIS, mutant PBCL2, and even the bladder mucus. And then change in the bladder mucus to malignancy are likely to be arises when there is an increase in the expressions of mutant PRIS and mutant PBCL2, which is accompanied by decrease in IAVEN expression cells of the bladder mucus. And the last one, while IAVEN serum now can be used to detect histopathological morphological change in the bladder mucus. And the next is DNA isolation on ratus noverkicus. DNA isolation on ratus noverkicus is a basic technique of biotechnology and biomolecular technology that must be mastered in the laboratory. And the purpose of uh, this DNA isolation is separating DNA from other particles such as lipids, proteins, polysaccharides, and other substances. And the uses of the DNA isolation is uh, for molecular analysis and genetic engineering such as genome editing, transformation, and also PCR. And this is the stages of DNA isolation. And the first stage is effective cells or tissue lysis. And the lysis process is the, in the initial process that determines the success of a DNA isolation. And the second stage is denaturation of nucleoprotein complex. And the third stage is inactive of the nucleus. Okay, so this is the DNA isolation challenges. Uh, one of the challenges in DNA isolation is the, the, the isolation of DNA in mammalian animal organism. This is because uh, mammals have very high tissue and organ complexity. So there are various kinds of obstacles that are often encountered in the process of DNA isolation in animals, such as uh, too many lipids and proteins that make up a tissue and the presence of nucleic enzymes in some animal organs, which can also damage uh, nucleic acids. And this is the lysis process in Ratus norvegicus. Uh, lysis process. Uh, uh, the first one is incubation. A uh, good lysis process in the process of animal DNA isolation is to use an overnight incubation. Uh, so we need 12 hours with a temperature of 55 degrees. And if suddenly lysis can be done by incubating for two hours at a temperature of 65 degrees. And incubation at 80 degrees for 10 minutes can speed up the lysis process but will damage the DNA so that DNA does not appear during the electro electroporesis process. And for the myelin, myelin can also speed up the lysis process but the results are not optimal. Okay, everyone, uh, thank you for your attention. We apologize for our mistakes. Hopefully, our knowledge that we share today is useful for you, for all of you. So thank you, everyone. Goodbye.